my name is Anne welcome to another video so in today's video I'm gonna be unboxing and reviewing my new purchase from Chanel it is the Chanel wallet on chain I'm so so excited about this my husband bought this bag for me um, about two months ago for my birthday but I've just not got around to unboxing it yet and so I'm really excited to get it open and show it to you guys and review it and show you what it's like on camera. So this is what you get when you purchase it. I purchased this in store. This is what the packaging looks like. It's such nice packaging, exactly what you can expect from Chanel. Inside the bag, you have this box. It's so nicely wrapped up. As you can see, it's got the classic Chanel wrapping. It took them a while to wrap this up. And we had to go and browse around at some other shops while they wrapped it up for us. So let's get it open. I just love the packaging. It's so beautiful and pretty to look at. So let's just get it open. I like the little flowers that they come with. It's on the usually on the bag and also on the box, the camellia flower. I wonder if anyone knows what I can do with them. I keep keeping them and I have so many now, but I don't actually have anything to do with them. <laughs> so if anyone has any ideas, let me know down in the comments. Inside the box, we can see that the bag comes in a black dust bag. And here we have a little care manual for looking after the bag in lots of different languages. The dust bag itself is so soft, it feels really nice and it feels like it's very good quality, um, starting off with just the dust bag. It's plain black and just says Chanel on it, as you can see. And this is the beautiful wallet on chain. So as you can tell, I got it in black. And there are so many different colors you can choose from and different styles. I'll get into that a little bit later on in the video. There is quite a lot of protective packaging. So this is just something to protect the bag that it comes with. And there's a lot of plastic on all the gold hardware. So remember to take all those little bits off when you open your bag and you're ready to use it. I quite like that because it keeps everything fresh and when you open it everything is still intact and there's no scratches or anything on the hardware which is good. There are so many compartments in this bag, I've just showed you them on this video. There's lots of zips and little pockets that you can slip things into and of course it's a wallet on chain so there's lots of space to put your cards. I have heard a few people talking about how they struggle to get hold of their wallet on chains and struggle to find them in stock in, in Chanel stores when they went in. I didn't find that. I looked at a few before I purchased this one, well before my husband bought it for me for my birthday and we found it in quite a few shops in the colorway that I wanted also. So I think it depends maybe where you live, but I didn't struggle to find this um, and it was around January time. The bag has a single long strap. The strap cannot be removed from the bag, but it can be tucked in if you want to use it as a clutch bag. And it's just one really, really long strap, but I'll show you a little bit later on in the video how to adjust this and to wear it lots of different ways. As you can see, I got this bag in the black caviar with the gold hardware. I really couldn't decide between the gold and the silver, but in the end I went with the gold because I have a new bag which is black and silver which I wear quite a lot. And I didn't have one in black and gold that was kind of like the smaller size. In the end I went with black and gold and I'm so glad I did. My first impressions of this bag is that I'm so glad I went with the caviar. I was kind of thinking about the lambskin because it is so buttery soft and lovely when you are in the shop it feels really good but I'm really glad I went with the caviar I think the caviar is more durable and it's just more practical for day to day I'm not someone who like 
likes to be extra precious about their bags. I like to use it as a bag at the end of the day. Well, this is technically a um, small leather good, I guess, but it is pretty sizable as I'll show you. Um, so many people class this kind of as a bag. I'm really glad I went with the caviar. The quality is really good. Like you can tell it's not going to scratch very easily and I'm really happy about that. If you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you subscribe. It really does help support my little channel. So I've grabbed a few props now to show you what can fit in the bag. What I really do like about this bag is the little pockets, I guess, at the back. It's kind of really good for just slipping things in. But let's see if my phone will fit in there. Mm, it doesn't really fit in there. It doesn't, definitely doesn't fit in sideways. So if you have like a standard iPhone, it's probably not gonna fit in there. But you could probably fit like, you know, if you have your card out and you're using it, you could fit it in there. If you have like any bit of like money on you or bits of change, you can fit in there. Let's see if my lip gloss will fit in there. Mm, I don't think it's gonna fit. It's really like slim. So only like slim little things can fit in there. I thought it would be so handy for a phone, but it is too small on the wallet and chain to fit a phone in. But it's still cute. I really like it because when I'm out and about shopping, I don't like getting my card in and out, in and out. So it's nice to just keep it there. And it's quite secure because that is the side that goes against your body. So that is a nice little pocket. And um, so inside the bag, um, as we know, it's a, it's a wallet. So it's got all that space to fit six cards in. So there's absolutely loads of space for your cards in this bag. There's also obviously the inside pocket. So let's see what goes in there. I've got my compact, so, and I've got my lip gloss and also my lipstick and my phone. Let's see if that also fits. Yeah, that fits in. And I've also got a little comb with me here. So yeah, that'll all fit in fine. Let's see if it closes. Oh yeah, that closes and that looks absolutely fine in there actually. So all that fits in fine. And I think if you had a small little bunch of keys, it would fit in as well. I should have grabbed my keys. But yeah, if you had a small bunch of keys, that would fit in fine in here too. Now let's see if a hairbrush will fit in. I didn't think it would, so that's why I brought comb too. No, so with all that stuff in, so my lip glosses, my compact, my phone, the hairbrush will also not fit in. As you can see, it's like not enough space. But if you take out, say, compact lip gloss, lipstick, see if then the hairbrush will fit. Oh, then the hairbrush does fit. So then my phone's in there and my hairbrush and also all the cards. And you could probably fit like a lipstick and lip gloss on top. So yeah, that all fits in there actually. So the only thing I've taken out is my compact and you can fit a mini hairbrush in there with still all your lipstick and lip gloss stuff that you need. And you can still fit your keys on top and you would have your wallets in there. Oh, sorry, you would have your card cards in there, any money, and your phone can also fit, which is fantastic. And it still closes and yeah, looks good. Everything's fine. So actually, I'm really surprised this fits a lot more than I thought it would actually in there. Um, I'm quite surprised um, that the hairbrush fitted. I did not think that it would fit in there, but turns out it does. Yeah, so I'm really surprised at what fits in here actually. I didn't think that the hairbrush, I didn't think that the mini hairbrush would fit in, but it turns out it does. It looks really thin when you look at it from the side, but it does actually expand when you put stuff in and allows you to fit a lot more in here. Now it has actually got a pocket right at the top here and that goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag. So like you could put your phone in there, I guess, could you? Yeah, you can do. You can actually fit your phone in there, but I don't think you'd be able to close your bag if you did that. Um, so what could you put in there? Maybe if you had some cash that you wanted to hide, you could put all the way down into the bottom or I've also seen people put their passports in there. If you're traveling, you could put your passport all the way deep down and because passports are only, um, because of the shape of a passport, you can usually still close the bag. So those two are handy pockets to use. It has got a little zippy one here. I'm not too sure what you would want to put in there. 
It's also got a, um, a small little pocket here also. I've only just noticed that now. There's a small little pocket here and there is another one here also. So it's got quite a few little hiding spots and there's also another one here. So there's quite a lot of little pockets. Um, obviously, if you put things in all these places, it takes away space from the middle compartment. So it's up to you really how you like to have things. Maybe you like to have your phone out in this one instead of in the middle compartment. So you would have your phone there, but then that makes the middle compartment quite small and barely anything will fit in there now. So it just depends how you like to use the bag. I think it's a perfect size for a mini little bag. I think it's great for little nights out when you're just nipping out to dinner or if you're going out like on a girly night. It's the perfect size just to fit a few bits you need over like an, an evening out. I don't know if this will be good for a day-to-day -day bag, so I'll have to try it out and see. Maybe I can do an updated review and I've had it for a little while. Um, but I think you might struggle for an everyday bag because day to day, I, I usually take a lot more things with me, but I guess if you're going to a specific destination and you're not going to be out too long, you don't need lots and lots of things, you could end up using this for an everyday bag. Or if you're someone who just travels light and you don't take so many things with you, then this would be a perfect bag. Let's talk about the price of this bag. It's definitely not cheap. It is £2,800. I think it's £2,810 and that is what it is selling for currently. As we know, the price just keeps going up and up and up. So who knows if Chanel is going to have any more price increases. But currently, as it stands, this bag is £2,810 and that is just for this classic style. So the wallet and chain comes in many different colours and um, textures. So it comes in like white, green, pink. Um, all loads of colours and it also comes in lambskin, I've discussed that earlier, and it also comes in some tweed fabrics and it also comes with some um, different custom straps depending on the season. Like this year there was one that was like, um, like a roller skate theme but I didn't really like that. So it would have little charms in the strap so they do have different limited edition things like that as well. And the price varies a lot when you start getting the different types of wallet on chain. They go up to, I've seen them for £4,500. So the price range is very different. But the classic style is £2,810. Obviously, this is quite a lot for a small little handbag, but I do think it's an investment piece. As I mentioned, the price does increase and they hold their value so, so well. So if it is something that you want, I think it's a great um, entry level bag to Chanel. It is technically a small leather good, so it's not actually a handbag. So that is why it is so much cheaper than say a classic flap, which is gonna be, you're looking at at least double, triple the price of this. I do think it is great if you're someone who's into your handbags and you wanna try out Chanel, it's a great place to start. So let's talk about the straps. I don't know if you can see this, but there are two, pieces of leather sticking out. I hope you can see this on camera. I'll zoom in later if I realize that you can't see that. Um, but yeah, I don't like, like I don't understand why they've done that. It makes it just look so like awful on the strap. It just sticks out like a sore thumb when you're looking at it in person. So the strap does actually twist around. So I know that you can hide it, but I just don't know why they've done that. It makes it look it just drops the quality a little bit of the bag. So that is my one criticism of the bag so far. I don't know if that's just this bag or I don't know if it's all of them have that. If you do have this bag, let me know in the comments if your bag has this issue as well. So I've come up really close to the camera so you can see what I mean. There's these two pieces of leather sticking out of the strap. Oh, I hope, why won't it focus? Focus. Oh, there we go. And it just looks terrible. I don't know why they did that. It just looks a bit tacky and I wasn't expecting that from Chanel. So I am surprised. But yeah, I thought I'd show you a close up so you could see what I mean. Let's move on to discussing the strap. So 
as you can see, it's a big, long strap. Um, and I'm five foot eight. So as you can see, even for me, it's a little long. It is just not sitting well on the body for me at this height. However, the strap is quite flexible. You can loop it through. Um, so you can, oops, you can loop it once and like this, and that can make it then a nice little size for a shoulder strap. That then makes it a really nice size for a shoulder strap. I really like that um, length. For a shoulder bag, it's quite nice. However, you can also pull it through a little bit more and make it a little bit shorter. So that makes it quite also a cute size. I like that as well. You can loop it three times to make it a top handle bag. They do have top handle wallet on chains. If you are really wanting a top handle bag, you can get that, they do have them, but this is quite nice that even if you just get a normal wallet and chain, you can make it a top handle bag. So that is really cute. I don't typically like wearing bags as a crossbody, but if you wanted to and you're around my height, it actually fits quite nicely as a crossbody with the original length of the straps. There are also some things that you could purchase on Amazon to help you adjust the straps. But I think that, you know, uh, folding it within the bag works perfectly fine. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helped you. If you're thinking about buying the wallet on chain, I hope it helped you make a decision. If you have any questions, as always, put them in the comments. I'm more than happy to help answer them. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.